My name is Professor Laura Rosella. I am the program director for the PhD program in epidemiology at the Dalana School of Public Health. And in that role, I often get asked about the differences between the PhD program in epidemiology and the DRPH program. I think what you'll get out of the DRPH program, which is quite distinct, are the leadership skills that will really enable you to have impact in the practice of public health. And while in both programs you'll master the discipline of public health, being able to have the skills and knowledge to be able to move forward practice is quite distinct and the specialized experiences and training and courses within that program will help you achieve that goal. So thinking about what you want to do with that degree and the impact you want to have and where you want to direct that impact. Ani Tanzi, Bozo Kwekwe. My name is Angela Mashford Pringle. I'm an assistant professor and the associate director of the Wakaban S. Bryce Institute for Indigenous Health. I'm also the program director for the Masters of Public Health and Indigenous Health. And I want to invite you to be part of the DRPH program in which you can stay in your community, work full time and do some research about Indigenous health issues. I think it's very important that we do this and I hope to see you soon. I envision the ideal candidate for a DRPH student in occupational environmental health to be someone who's already practicing in a technical or a management position in either occupational health and safety or environmental health with a desire to advance into a senior position. This could be either the private or the public sector involved in running a program or enforcement or even policy already. The DRPH will provide advanced skills needed to lead such a program and evolve it into something more effective in protecting human health. My name is Dr. Abhisri Haran. I am a faculty member at the Dalalana School of Public Health and I teach in the areas of health systems innovation, transformation and leadership. We have designed the leadership curriculum for the DRPH program to give you an opportunity to learn about leadership best practices in the classroom and through that process take those lessons into real world experiences. Apply and see what's working for you, what's not working for you and get mentored and coached to develop your authentic leadership skill sets and toolkits so you could function as a high performing public health leader in Canada and globally. Hello, I'm the Dalanana Chair in Global Health Policy. Uh, I'm here to see why this uh, DRPH program is interesting to international students. Uh, I think the answer is that we are going to take a global perspective in teaching this uh, DRPH program. Uh, for example, we are going to look at a global perspective on all the foundation uh, for public health practice. Um, we also have uh, faculty members from different countries. For example, I originally from China, and you would find lots of faculty uh, members are from your own country or has done research in your country. Uh, we are going to present these research results uh, to you during through all the teaching programs. And finally, we are going to set up a network of the global um, teachers, all the teachers and uh, the students at a global level. So we are going to ensure each other are going to help uh, for the success and the, the future of the public health development.